Cala de Mar Hotel and Spa is located in Ixtapas y Guatanejo, Mexico, overlooking the Pacific Ocean with the most incredible views I've ever seen. I can hear the ocean and I already, I can see it! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is unbelievable! Oh. Hey guys, welcome to Ibala Travel. We are Jenny and Kevin, two Mexican-Americans from Chicago, traveling throughout Mexico in search of home. We have a very special vlog for you guys today. We're staying at Cala de Mar, one of Mexico's top resorts, if not the top resort in Mexico. We're gonna be sharing what this experience is like, how much it costs to spend the night here, and why we consider it to be the best resort for couples. If you're new to the channel and aren't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you can continue on following adventures with us. Hit the like button if you're enjoying the video and don't forget to leave a comment. From the moment you arrive and check in, you're treated like the most special guest at this hotel. All guests, of course, are greeted with iced tea, with cold towels to help cool you off from the heat, and a tour of the hotel so that you know everything that you'll have access to upon your stay. The entire process made me feel like a celebrity. <laughs> They're like, oh, Jenny and Kevin, the YouTubers. And I was like, I made it. <laughs> Mama, I made it. Are you ready to see this? I'm so ready. <gasps> wow. This is incredible. I'm stunned. I can't believe we're here. Every detail in the room was thought out perfectly to make guests feel luxury level comfort. Everything you see on this bench are complimentary gifts from the hotel, like a face mask, cleansing wipes, and hand sanitizer. Ooh, a beach bag and a beach hat. Man, it's like they knew you were gonna wear something that matches perfectly. I'm ready for the beach. Oh my god, this freaking bathroom is bigger than my room back at home. Wow, look, it's a walk-in closet pretty much on this end. There's a lock key, an iron. Our luggages are here, they magically appeared here while we were getting the tour, which is fun. We have robes, towels, and sandals. I can see I could just sleep like right here. I'm good. I'm good. It's like a hostel bed right here, you know? Oh, look at what they did with my hat. They hung it up here. It looks great. Part of the decor. Okay, so, whoa, have a look. Check out the shower. This is an incredible shower and with an ocean view. But the best part, the private terrace with a dive plunge pool overlooking the ocean. I heard a knock at the door. Let's see who it is. Every day, every guest between the hour of 5 and 6 p.m. gets a guacamole snack with two beers or two drinks of your choice. Oh my gosh, and it comes in a beautiful molcajete, totopos, and a lovely little basket. Beers in a nice bucket, and of course, the ocean view. Let's take you for a tour of the rest of the hotel. This here is the Libreria, a space to read books, focus on whatever you need to work on, or come have a glass of water and some free cookies. Yum. This place has like a maze-like feel but the design is on purpose so that you hardly ever run into other people when you're walking around. It makes you feel like you're the only Whoa. people staying at this hotel. Because it's rainy season, I think the ocean's a little bit higher. Uh, the beach that they have here at Cala de Mar, it's not like the biggest beach. It's a but, super tiny private beach. But we, d we have seen videos and pictures that when the marea is, is lower, they actually have a nice beach to hang out with and have uh, hang out at the swings. So now we're heading into the Zen Zone, the space that you can come to for ultra meditation, yoga, 
We're gonna show you this amazing ocean deck that we got to do yoga on. All rooms come with a private pool, but there's also a large infinity pool for everyone to enjoy. Oh, this pool is out of this world. I don't think I've ever even been in an infinity pool like this. Not only is it shaped like the actual infinity symbol, but you feel like you're at the edge of the world looking over the ocean. The aesthetic of the hotel looks really nice. I love the colors that they chose, tan, brown. Earthy colors. Earthy colors that make you feel so that you're with nature and part of nature. There's a lot of aisles that are very green. You see lizards and it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. A lot of flowers too. Everything in this hotel and resort is designed to give you the most relaxing experience possible. So of course, having a spa oceanside is one of those things to give you the most relaxing vacation or weekend that you can imagine. The spa is equipped with services like a sauna, jacuzzi, massages, manicures, pedicures, beauty services, all either individual or in couples. This is the women's spa section with lounge chairs, a jacuzzi, and out to the right is a deck for sun tanning, sunbathing, and really just listening to the ocean. Fitness is a part of self-care, so all guests have access to the gym, which also comes with a killer view, of course. Ooh, look at all that sweat. I can't get over all of this. This is incredible. I still can't believe we're here. Equally amazing as the views at this place was the food. Cala de Mar has three restaurants, all with spectacular menus. We had breakfast at Las Rocas and tried the chicken and moladas, a perfect cappuccino, and omelet con frijolitas and hash brown. But if you don't want to leave your room, you don't have to because the same menus are available for room service. Super excited to have room service for the very first time. Ever in our Ever. Lives. <laughs> Ever. Well, actually, no. We've got uh, uh, Domino's Pizza. That's room service, eh? Uh, just calling a pizza to your house is not room service. Oh yeah, it is. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Absolutely everything was delicious, so we can't even make specific recommendations. Except we do need to tell you about dessert. Please do not skip dessert. Mmm. Mmm. It's so nice and warm. It melts in your mouth like butter. You didn't tell us what it is. Mmm. Heavenly, that's what it is. It's a molten lava cake with matcha tea ice cream. Mm. So this is a first for me ever. They knocked on the door, <clears throat> offering evening service, and we're like, "What? So what's, uh, what's evening what's, service? What's, what's, what's that?" And she goes, "You know, do you need me to freshen up your room? Do you need new towels?" We like, could well, take out trash. We're like, "Wow, mm. um, no, thank you. We just got here. Vamos a llegar." She's like, okay, les dejo un dulce detalle. And we're like, what? She hands us this. Bro, she handed us candy. She handed us pulparindos. How nice was that? I was like, what? You just knocked on my door like it's reverse trick or treat or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, if there's one thing you should try if you come to this place, is get the, the Frida Kahlo cheesecake. Oh. First of all, it's all about texture, right? The cheesecake texture itself is very soft, airy, almost like a mousse. What makes it beyond amazing, the cajeta whipped cream that is layered over. It's like a blanket, like a- There you go. It's like, a, it, you. like a blanket over the cheesecake. The chipotle strawberry, oh my. This is the thing I'm gonna miss the most. It's easily, if I could sneak into this hotel, what I would order is this Frida Kahlo cheesecake. Above all, our favorite dining experience was at the seafood market restaurant. What we have in front of us is actually today's menu. This is today's fresh catch of the day, including tuna, 
mahi mahi octopus shrimp and salmon that's not from the region so that's not part of today's fresh caught but it does come from somewhere in the ocean and then we have juan who explains all the different ways that we can have today's pick the, yeah. the house sauce is with garlic onion butter i think that one's gonna be my choice what else do we have we today? have the taya sauce it's adobo with chipotle mayo and tomato what shall we do today today i'm gonna pick the dorado you know, it's a fresh cup today, so... So I picked the robalo fish. I'll have to Google Translate that one because I don't know what that is in English, but I'm really excited. My appetizer, I got the ceviche al coco. So you've got the shrimp, the coconut, of course, decorated with colors, flowers. I feel like there's a bunch of things from a forest in here, all edible, of course, delicious and beautiful. Five stars on the presentation. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It has just enough of a kick, not too spicy, and it is delicious. I had to go with the classic, you know. Okay. Nothing, nothing. You can never go wrong with a really, really good classic margarita. Oh, it's perfectly balanced. Just enough lime, just enough sugar, and just enough tequila. And just enough ocean. See? And the main dish has finally arrived. This is my robalo. We asked for both of them with the house sauce, so that's butter, white wine, and a whole bunch of other amazing delicious things. I asked for the side of veggies and the sweet potato puree. I got the dorado, which in English is mahi mahi. And I also ordered with the house sauce, which comes with a bunch of delicious things because they recommended it. You want this dorado with the house sauce. And I got three sides. I got vegetables, a baked potato, and a puree de sweet potato. <laughs> Let's dig in and see if this tastes as good as it looks. This is unreal. No, 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 this can't be real. <laughs> this is one of those meals that you want to eat ultra slowly so that it lasts as long as possible. Wow, this is even better than I could have imagined. There's definitely no way that I can go outside of this resort and try to ask for the exact same thing because I'm never going to find it. <laughs> No, 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 no. What? Oh, look. There's candles inside the rocks. So romantic. I'm so happy. We hear there's a live band tonight. We're gonna check it out. We're hoping it's salsa or cumbias or something we can dance to because... Oh, I have a lot of fun Big thank you to our Patreon members for your continued support. Join our Patreon community for exclusive content and behind the scenes extras. Okay, get this. So we come back to our room after dinner, after drinks and a little bit of dancing at the bar. We come back and we notice a subtle changes to the room. First of all, it's tidied up. They came and cleaned. Like, who hotels do that twice a day? Wow. Um, they reset up the coffee section and keep going, keep going. Ignore my makeup basket. But wait, they left more candy from yesterday. And wait a minute, do you notice something right here? I would have noticed this, but if I'm getting into bed, and the covers are already folded, like ha like half the work is done for me. And all I have to do is, you know, and then toss myself in. But the fact that they went the extra mile to fold the sheets just to make them more inviting, and wait, there's more. You've got a towel here, like why? Why is this necessary? This is gonna keep me up all night. Like why would they put a towel here so that my feet don't have to touch the floor before I get into bed? Ooh la la. Like, Sounds <laughs> like somebody had way too many drinks and that's why they put that water right there. With a, a few moments later. 
So the reason we were able to spend a few nights here uh, was because of an opportunity that, that came out from Travel and Leisure Company. So um, thanks to Evan who reached out to us offering to collaborate on a video opportunity here in Ixtapas y Guatanejo. Uh, Travel and Leisure's video will be uh, on the link up here so you guys can definitely check out the- Never in a million years did I think I would be staying in a hotel like this. It's just unbelievable. Like we worked hard but we never worked to, for luxuries or, or anything, it works for memories. So now that we get the opportunity to do it through travel and leisure, which we're super grateful for, it's, it's thank you, thank you so much. I think about my childhood and where my my family comes from, and we don't come from luxuries like this. I need, I need to breathe. <laughs> I'm like. Really, really, really. Yeah. <laughs>